Open AI has shocked the world again with the latest update to ChatGPT. This is ChatGPT Agent. In this video, I'll show you all the crazy things you can do with ChatGPT Agent. It has been less than 12 hours from the time it was launched and people are doing some insane stuff with it. I've been playing around with ChatGPT Agent for a couple of hours now and it is honestly insane what you can do with it. First of all, let's answer what is ChatGPT Agent. So ChatGPT Agent is basically a combination of deep research which ChatGPT offers along with the operator that OpenAI has. So operator is basically their ability to go on a browser and search for stuff and give us results for it. So instead of you opening a new Chrome browser and searching for stuff, it does it automatically for you on your behalf. The deep research element is basically if you want to plan an itinerary, if you want to plan a trip, if you want to ask it to do some research analysis, it will go through various different sources, websites, web pages, it will analyze everything and it will give you the top results. Now imagine what if we combine deep research with OpenAI's operator. What you actually get is chat GPT agent. The results are actually pretty insane. You can get access to it if you are on the plus and the pro plan of chat GPT and I'll show you what I have done with it. The first example I want to show you is of analyzing stocks. So I always wanted to use AI for helping me to pick stocks and this is basically the closest that we can get to it. It's honestly very close to AGI at this point I think. So my prompt is help me discover and evaluate micro cap stocks list listed in India. The goal is to identify high growth consistently profitable companies and this is basically the profile I set. This is the market cap, this should be the revenue kegar, this should be the ROC, this should be the P ratio and basically it had to go through and find the stocks which qualify all of these criteria and then it should also look for industry and business model, historical revenue, profit growth, promoter shareholding, just a lot of information I've asked it. Then I also asked it to highlight red flags if there are any and present it in a presentation. So it had to research, it had to find the stocks which meet the criteria and it had to make a presentation. Now, as you can see, it took one hour. It went through 136 sources and this is what it came up with. This is the report that it has created. It made a list of all the stocks which are going to meet the criteria. So you can see the business they are in, the market size, the three year revenue, the profit, the ROCE, the P ratio, promoter holding, notes, everything is in this one table, but it doesn't end there. It also does an individual analysis of each company that it has picked up. So it does that. And then at the very end, it also gives me a presentation. So if I open this up, this is a PPT in which it is looking at every single stock that it chose and it is showing me visually why it took it and what are the risks and the benefits of picking this stock and investing in it. So this is basically what it has done. It's pretty crazy how you can ask it to do pretty much everything. Like it made all of these images that you can see over here. It made this entire PPT that you can now download. It can also create this in-depth report that you can see right here. I'll put the link for all of this in the description of this video so you can go and have a look at that. Another one is to plan an outing. So I wanted Chat GPT agent to create an in-depth report for the outing that I want to do with my company. So about 11 people, uh, the budget per person is 25,000 rupees, three of us are vegetarians, rest are non-veg, two-day Goa company off-site and it went in-depth and used deep research capabilities to find all the flights, train, sleeper, bus options, the local transport options, the accommodation options that you can see. So the resort that you can stay in, the hotel you can stay in with multiple other substitutes, the eating options considering veg and non-veg priorities. And it also tells the activities I can do in Goa and the cost along with it. There's also this link that I can click and I can see exactly where it found this information. I can also book it. So if I want to take my company on a dinner cruise, I can just click on this and I can start booking this right here. That is pretty crazy. Now, if I can go down, it also creates a two day itinerary for me and my team. So it gives the entire breakdown of where to go, what to do, what to eat, which flight to take, as you can see right here and how much that flight will cost. And at the end, it gives a cost summary per person. So return flight, local transport, accommodation, meals, you know, sunset cruise, everything. And we are ending up with spending 16,000 per person, leaving us with about 9,000 more rupees. That's pretty crazy. And I love how in-depth it goes with it. Another example which I'm running right now is this one. So I want to hire some YouTube managers at my company uh, and I want them to join next week. 
So I basically gave it the job description of this role and I asked it to basically go on LinkedIn and find me the best people suited for this description and compile them in a spreadsheet and share their LinkedIn profile and their portfolio with it as well. So it asked me to go on LinkedIn and log in into my account. So I did that. And as you can see, it is currently going through all of the potential people that I can hire in Bangalore itself, or I can reach out to them if they are good at YouTube and you know, digital marketing. That is pretty crazy. So it will take some time to get back with me on this, but you can do a lot more with it. So if I open up chat GPT from scratch and I go on to tools, agent mode, and now I can see suggested. So I have reports. So find Kurti Sari sets on Misho under 800 rupees. If I just go ahead with this, press enter, it's going to start working on this. It's going to open up a browser and it's going to start using it. So basically with chat GPT agent, it can create images, it can write code, it can do deep research, it can use the browser, it can log in on my behalf, it can do all of the actions on my behalf itself. So as you can see, it is going to open a new tab, it will go on to Misho, it will search for the Kurti sets that we have asked it to, and it will start doing its work. Now it can work in the background like the other ones that we've just seen. We can keep opening new tabs and we can keep trying out new things. So if I go on to agent mode again, I can ask it to do some actions. So order pizza for my child's birthday, uh, purchase two movie tickets for this Saturday, enroll in a yoga class next week, review and prioritize my inbox after vacation. This is actually pretty crazy. So if I ask it to prioritize my inbox, I'll click on this and press on enter. It will basically ask me to log in into my Google account. Then it will look at my Gmail and it will prioritize all the important emails and will give me the list of all of them. I want you to go try it out yourself and tell me what have you done using the chat GPT agent. So as you can see, it's going on Misho, it's searching for Kurtis, it will put the filter of less than 800 rupees and it will give me those Kurti sets. That's pretty incredible. So this is going to open up Gmail. I can also open up some more agent mode tasks. So I can create spreadsheets, I can create presentations, just like the one you saw before. But this is honestly pretty crazy. I love how you can do so much with it without you having to do stuff yourself. See, operator was great, but you have to very specifically tell it to do certain things and it will only work on that. On the other hand, we have chat GPT agent, which can just figure out stuff on its own. It is also going to go on various different web pages and do a deep research and give you the best results from all of that. That was chat GPT agent explained to you in less than 10 minutes. Let me know in the comment section, what do you think of it? I think there's so much that can be done today with chat GPT agent. As you can see, it makes, it does research, it does spreadsheets, it does customization, slideshows. The sky is the limit at this point with chat GPT agent. That's all from me on this video. Thank you so much for watching this video till the very end. And I will see you all in the next video.